Hi, this is Brooks from Character Design Forge with the Essential Guide to Pixel Art in Photoshop. There are a lot of applications that you can create pixel art with, but Photoshop is something you may already have or just be comfortable with. You may have already tried to use Photoshop to create pixel art, but if you aren't familiar with the tools, Photoshop will kind of fight you at every turn as you try to create pixel art and modify it. One of the biggest problems that you'll have going into this blind is that Photoshop tends to alias the artwork or document with its brushes and its resizing algorithm, basically a way to make things look smoother from a distance by adding pixels that are lighter around the existing ones. And obviously this is great for line art and painting, but it works against us with pixel art. The first thing that you can do is create a file around the dimensions that you'd like. Pixel art is different in size from traditional 8-bit or 16-bit games. There's no necessary constraints or one way to do it, but we can start with a 100 by 100 pixel square. You can also hit Command R or Control R and have the ruler guides pop up. And by right clicking on one of these bars, you can change to pixels and measure that way. Under the brush tool or by hitting Shift B, you can access the pencil tool and this will create pixels that aren't anti-aliased. You might want to assemble a palette. I tend to create a limited color base that are two by two squares. The next problem that you might see is with erasing. You can get a small pencil size to lay down pixels, but then taking them away, even with a small eraser, will leave these anti-aliased spots that you can't really cleanly erase. Now the easy fix for this with the eraser selected is to go up to this mode and change from brush to block. The eraser is now basically the pencil tool for removing pixels. We'll look at how to animate in Photoshop in a minute, but say you want to share this image and you want to scale it up because obviously this document is too small to see. Well, this may happen where upon scaling it up, it's blurry on account of the aliasing. But this is fixed by choosing the Preserve Hard Edges option and the pixels will be sized up as squares. So what I'm doing here that's sped up is creating a quick pixelized version of my mascot, the Wanderlumen character. This is a really simple, quickly done sprite. And what we're going to do is animate this character and just really simply in order to show you the tools. So not too much as far as frame by frame animation where there's a big movement with the character, but simply we're just going to have him bob up and down and have his eye blink. Uh, for the purposes of this video. So what I'm doing is separating some of the pieces out into layers and that's helpful if you want the arms and legs to move and the cape to flow behind him. But I end up flattening this character out into one layer. And actually a little bit later on here you see me shade with a darker color and then reduce the opacity on that layer if you want to start animating, pixel animation is a comparatively easy process. And because of pixel art in games traditionally having idle animations and looping back around, it's kind of like I said, it's a comparatively easy way to get 80%. What we're basically going to do is create a flipbook with our pixel art. Each new frame is going to be on a different layer and will open the timeline window. Modifying and animating our pixel art is rather easy with the selection tools in Photoshop and by onion skinning. This is where you lower the opacity either by hitting the V key and then a number corresponding to the percentage or in the opacity slider on the layers panel. Now you can draw over the layer underneath as reference. I'll do a frame for you here and then speed up the rest of the process as this is a bit time intensive.
Now that we have layers that we duplicated and modified, we can use our timeline to line them all up. Basically, we're going to hide all but the layer that we want visible on each frame or step in the animation. On the bottom left, we have a dropdown that allows our animation to loop or play forever, and each of these frames has a time. Depending on how fast or slow you want your animation to play, you can dictate these individually. Decide what size you'd like to export as, go to File, Save for Web. In Creative Cloud, the Creative Cloud version of Photoshop, this will be a legacy option. Check those settings and export it as a GIF. There's a lot more to learn about pixel art, animation, and character design, but that should give you the tools to start creating pixel art in Photoshop. If this video educated you, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I have another video about the fastest way to create comics in Photoshop. And if you're interested in a comprehensive character design education, check out my Learn Character Design course at learncharacterdesign.com. Thank you for watching, and have fun creating.